I now have four days of writing on the clue step-in bindings, and I want to answer three very important questions for you. One, are they worth the money and any good? Two, well, I guess technically this will be four questions. All right, I want to answer four questions for you. One, are they worth the money? Two, are they any good? Three, how do I like them compared to Burton step-ons? And number four, what could be better on the clue bindings? Let's get into it. I also do want to say, I want to fully disclose, yes, Clue did send me these bindings to use and test. I got them back in like March or April. They did send them to me. However, they gave me no guidelines whatsoever what to say, what to talk about, what I could or could not say. So this review is 100% fully honest. I'm not going to promote something that I wouldn't spend my own money on and tell you all to buy it. So I just want to clarify. Yes, they sent me these, but I have free, honest, 100% open opinion about this product. So I wanted to get a good four days of riding on these bindings. I originally said two, but I wanted to go with four just so that my snowboard legs were back. My skills felt where they felt like they were where they needed to be to really push them, test them, and see how they performed under a variety of conditions. I rode the clue bindings on slush and ice. I rode them on my battalion party wave. I used my DC control boots with them. My stance was set to 21 and a half inches apart, front foot 15, back foot negative nine, and I had the high back lean on two. So before I talk about how they ride, I wanna just talk about the binding itself. I thought the build quality of the binding is excellent. They feel really sturdy. They don't feel like a cheap kind of dinky binding. They feel really nice really top-notch build quality. Clue did say that they stepped up their parts this year to have some more durable parts as well as d more durable straps that are gonna perform and last even better in these cold temperatures that snowboards are gonna you know, be subject to. They work with a two by four, four by four, 3D disc system, the channel system, you name it. The disc in the, on the inside of the Clue is gonna be compatible with all of your most common mounting options these days. And one thing that's really great about the Clue binding is that it does feature a toolless adjustment. So when you're setting it up to fit your boot, it is completely toolless. You don't have to have anything to adjust those straps, which I thought was a really nice feature. It makes the setup super easy and you're able to adjust it on the fly if you have to. One of the other really great features about this binding is when you're working on it, getting it all set up for your stance, you have all these straps in the way. Well, one awesome thing you can do, pop the high back off like so, makes it a lot easier to access and get down in this compartment when you have no high back or anything in your way. It makes it a whole lot easier to get this thing set up. And then when you're done, click it right back in and you're ready to go. Also, just talking about the binding itself, I do have a full video answering any and all questions about the binding before that I filmed before I got them on the mountain, answering any questions you might have on the more spec side of things. So if you are interested in that, I'll link that video here as well as down in the description below. I answer any and every question. I show how they work, talk about the weight, all the different features that are packed into these binding. That video covers a whole lot of questions. So before you leave any in the comments, check out that video. And if you have any additional questions, then leave those in the comments down below. I tried to go really in depth and answer any question that anybody was going to have about these bindings. Now on the slopes, these bindings perform really well for me. Straight out of the gate, they were really easy to get in and out of. I did mention in my first impressions video that there was a time or two that I did get stuck when trying to go. I would pull basically and my foot wouldn't come out. That passed after the first day. I haven't ran into that issue anymore. You just want to give it a real firm pull and then lift your heel up. You're going to come out every single time. Super easy to get in and out of. Future Alex here. I actually figured out what was causing me to stick inside the binding and giving me trouble when I was going to click out. And it's actually a way that this binding is designed that I was unaware of. You pull this red lever, these little J hooks down here will retract. However, if you have the binding and the high back tilted a little bit when you pull it, you get no movement. What you wanna do when you go to click out of the clue binding is you wanna make sure that your high back is fully upright right here. That way it allows those J hooks to function properly because if it's leaned forward, they're not gonna move when you pull on this red lever. And now they're honestly so easy to get in. Most of the time now when I'm coming off the chairlift, I have my foot sitting right under that toe strap. As soon as I stand up, I click in and I can basically ride off the chairlift and straight onto the trail now. It's super nice. I never was able to do that with my Burton step-ons. Obviously you can't do that with the traditional binding either. So that's one thing I really like, just eliminating that one extra step of having to ride over, make a ledge, click in then. I'm able to just click in, get straight to the trail, which I think is gonna be really great when I get to these bigger mountains or on a powder 
powder day. If you want to be first laps on a powder day, these bindings, you can't get any faster than that coming off the chairlift and going. It's it's like I come from a skiing background into these. These give me the speed that I had when I was a skier where I was able to just ride right off the lift and onto the slopes. And I love that. I found the straps to be really, really comfortable. The ankle strap fits like, feels to me just like the ones that come on the Union bindings. And the toe strap is also really, really comfortable as well. I was really impressed with the way that it fits over the boot and it's a nice, comfortable fit. I feel like it works really well. You get a great responsiveness out of the straps and the binding itself. It is a little bit of a stiffer binding, but with that, I think you gain some responsiveness. And one of the things I was worried about when switching from the Burton step-ons to the Clue was that I was gonna lose that insane responsiveness that you get out of the Burton step-on. And with these, I feel like it's not quite as responsive because I don't think you can get to that level without being attached to the binding, but it's almost there. But out of that, you gain a little bit of tweakability for your presses, butters, or when you're on jumps or doing things like that, you have a little bit more room for error. And so to be able to still hold that level of responsiveness, but give you that tweakability back, I think is worth kind of the trade-off depending on the riding that you're planning on doing. It does stiffen up the middle of your board in terms of flex a little bit, but it's not horrible difference you can just it does feel stiff but I think that's what gives you that quick responsiveness and edge to edge once I got used to using these bindings we were basically doing hot laps where I was clicking in off the chair riding all the way up to the lift line there was no lines the other day and the, like while I was still moving I would go on and pull that lever pop my foot out and basically ride straight onto the chairlift and it just makes for a really fun experience where you can just constantly you know, cycle like that without having to ever stop, do any straps, anything like that. The straps don't feel like they come loose or anything throughout the day. I don't, maybe once or twice I had to reach down and give it like an extra ratchet or something, but they stayed right where I wanted them to. They weren't constantly coming loose or anything like that. And I thought they performed really, really well. I have to say, and it, the combination of the clue bindings plus with the party wave I've been using, I've been having some of the most fun laps that I have had on a snowboard in a long time. I've really, really enjoyed the way that these ride and I cannot wait to test them into the bigger mountain. I'm, like I've said in other videos, I plan on taking these to Utah. I'm going to three different resorts there. I'm also going to Jackson Hole shortly after that, and I can't wait to see how these perform in powder and on some bigger mountains, because so far I am extremely, extremely impressed. And I, like I said, I love the way that these clue bindings ride. In terms of cons, I feel like Maybe you do get a little bit more chatter than some other bindings that I've used in the past, but it's not a bad, uncomfortable amount. I can just, you can feel a little bit more underfoot. You feel the board a little bit more. That's really it. I don't, I don't really have anything bad to say about them, to be honest. In terms of things that could be improved, and now Clue, I'm talking to you. I think you could add a little bit of foam or rubber or something along the bottom of the binding because it is straight plastic. I think that would help with some dampening and some chatter. It would also give that board a little bit more flex and alleviate some of that stiffness. And I also think that you could add, they have a really, they have a pretty good padding in the bottom of the binding, and but the heel piece doesn't have that. I think you could put a little bit of that same padding in the heel piece because technically in the heel piece, you don't really have anything. Your, your boot's standing straight on plastic. And again, I never experienced any foot pain, any discomfort. I do just think that would aid in alleviating some of that chatter. And I, I keep mentioning that, but it, honestly, it's really not that bad. That's just the only con that I could think of or ways that this binding could be improved. So a little bit of foam on the bottom, a little bit of rubber, the same kind that you have on the footbed on the heel clip or on the heel piece that's attached to your boot. But do I think they're worth the money? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm really, really happy with it. And I think the great thing about these bindings is that they are gonna be compatible with any boot. You don't have to get a specific boot. You don't have to make any other upgrades if you're wanting to switch to a step-in binding. You literally can take your regular riding boots, buy these bindings, and they're gonna work. I definitely, definitely think they're worth the money. Which I do wanna say, while I'm on that note, I did reach out to Clue and ask for some sort of code to be able to help you all out as well as help my channel out. I do have a promo code if you are interested in picking up the Clue bindings. That's gonna be Alex10. It's gonna save you 10% off at checkout, which on a binding that's a $500 binding, that's a pretty substantial discount, I think. You're gonna get those for about 450. So I think that's really awesome. Again, I reached out to them after testing this binding and asked for that because I, want, I liked it so much and I wanted to be able to help you all have a way to make it a little more accessible, a little more obtainable to be able to get on this binding as well. So do I like it more than the step-ons? I'll say this. The step-ons I had two full seasons on, so I had a lot more time to really use them. I used them in every scenario I could think of. So 
It's a little early to call it, but I will say, I like the clue enough. I had a buddy that needed a set of bindings. I sold him my step-ons already. I'm going clue all season. Mic drop. I hope you all found this video helpful. If you did, please smash that like button. It's gonna really help me out. If you have any questions about the clue binding, again, I have that video answering tons of questions about them or leave it down in the comments below. I respond to every single comment. Thank you guys for taking the time to watch this. Hope you are getting some great snow where you are and having a fantastic winter already. Can't wait to see you all on the mountain soon and see you in the next one. Oh, look, man, right now.